one final segment here in Ironwood, and it seems like a great spot to end our show because we are in front of Rigoni's Bakery. They have been here for over 50 years, a staple here. I've never been inside, so for someone who's never been, tell us what it's all about. Well, I think one of the coolest things about this bakery is, is that you walk in and it feels like it's exactly the same way it was 50 years ago. And so, you know, their specialties are pasties. They do pizzas. They do all the classic pastries and things like that. And it's been a staple of our downtown for, well, for decades. And it's just a really incredible spot. People come from all around the country to, you know, to, to come to this bakery. And, um, yeah, they ship their pasties everywhere. So it's a really a neat, a neat, really great downtown business yeah. that's been really important for our downtown for decades. And it's always nice to have a new business come to town, but when you have an anchor business, someone who knows the community and knows the residents, I, I can only imagine that that helps in what you all do every day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is one of those places when you walk in, you know, there's the, the guys that and the, the guys and the gals that have been coming here for decades to have coffee, they're sitting down they're talking about the community um, it's just a it, it just is one of those classic things that you really only get in small rural America yeah. downtowns so when you're not sure what to do you go there to find out that's where <laughs> yeah, the, that's where the big questions you get answered you storm over a yes. or something yes. you get a cake donut you yeah. maybe get a cake write a couple of grant applications <laughs> yeah. donut. sounds like a good day and we're continuing to walk here because we wanted to also highlight uh, the food co-op that's right here on this street yeah I mean this is also amazing Ironwood's had a food co-op for I believe over 40 years wow and they've been in this location I think for somewhere around 27 28 years somewhere in there and they have over the last several years they've gotten some grants to do some upgrades to the facility they've done this new facade uh, I've gotten new refrigeration and things like that and now they're unpacking a new commercial <laughs> range for their commercial kitchen they're putting in yeah hot off the press a brand oh new oven gosh, yeah <laughs> So new commercial kitchen, so that means more hot items, I take it, more food to walk out with at yeah, lunchtime? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, then they'll be able to offer facilities for the community, whether they're doing classes or all kinds of different things that could be done with this. And, Paul, when you're doing your planning and when you're thinking about the future and you see things like this happening in the existing businesses, does that help you to know that, okay, we're, we're headed in the right direction? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been just great seeing our comprehensive plan um, come to life and, you know, goals and uh, that the city's set forth in the last 10 years um, to, to be able to get some wins and checking things off the list and, and keeping your purpose and keeping your fire to go and, and just do more, bigger and better things and just keep moving the, the community ahead. It's been really great. And, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's a really forward moving, forward thinking community and uh, it seems like a nice nice place to be honestly do you see have you been seeing a lot more families younger people coming in and making a home out of ironwood yeah we've been getting a, a large mix of, of people moving to the area you know whether that's um you know young families uh, some of our our younger grades at the school are are, are moving up their class mm -hmm. sizes in, in like the first through fourth grade so that's encouraging to see and then um, people moving you know out by abr they've had something like 40 or 50 um, people move to the area just in the last uh, few years wanting to be by the abr cross-country ski trails so that type of, uh, of people wanting to come and be part of our community has uh, been great. And, you know, also, you know, snowmobilers having second homes here and, and participating in, in their recreation. You know, there's something here for everybody. So whatever that is for you, for outdoor recreation, there's just all sorts of things to offer. Well, we've certainly had a wonderful time visiting Ironwood. We are so lucky to be able to go to Stormy Cromer, go to the top of Copper Peak, and now uh, take a tour of the downtown area. And I just want to thank you both for your time this afternoon. Uh, we'll be back. We had a great time, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes off the oven. To eating. <laughs> to eating. Yes, what to comes eating. Off of the to oven. Yes. Truly. Yes. Truly. All right. Have a great it's day, place everyone. To be. It's, it's the place, place to be. To be. <laughs> this is the place to be. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good day, everyone.